guys, it's me and I'm back with another video. So, first of all, I have a few things to say. First, I'm so sorry for the lack of lighting. I, I'm currently filming in my lounge because I just don't want to be in my room. Um, secondly, I've just got some like music but in the background and thirdly i starting from this video i will be doing a top 10 series so so in this one i'll be doing my top 10 favorite harry potter characters so and i've got a list here so i'm going to do it from 10 being I'm going to be doing 10 to 1, so 1 is my first favourite. So my 10th is McGonagall. Just because she's like, she knows what she's doing. Dumbledore and Snape, well, well Snape was a terrible headmaster, so we can't really rule out, we can rule out Snape. But I think it's because... I think she's just like a really cool character and I think she's really brave and yeah. Wait, this is not working. <laughs> I'm putting this light on. Yeah. Yeah, it's better. Okay. So, and then number nine, it's Snape. Because Snape, I like, I love Snape. He's just amazing. Because he's very misunderstood, he's very brave. He would do absolutely anything for Lily Potter. And I just think people hated him just because of who he was. And everyone was scared of him. He didn't have many many friends at school. He was. He really liked Lily, but Lily was in Gryffindor, so... That's why. Next up is Molly Weasley. I just love Molly Weasley. She is such a savage character. I just love her when she kills Bellatrix. But don't get me wrong, Bellatrix is in this. But boom, she'd do anything to protect her kid. Anything to protect Harry, actually. Anything to protect... Oh, um, anything to protect... Anything to protect... Who is it? Anything to protect everyone she loves, really. Next up is Ginny. Again, I really like Ginny. Um, she's a lot like me. She's very sporty, but <laughs> she. I. But the only difference is I'm not a flirt. I do not flirt. Do not. But I know some people who do flirt. <laughs> So if you guys are watching, you'll know who you are. <laughs> well, unless you're not able to know. But anyway, next is Sirius. I think Sirius was such a great grandf grandfather. It's not that old. Godfather to Harry. So I think he died. He basically died for Harry. A lot of people died for Harry. And I think that's lovely because Harry, they knew that Harry needed to kill Voldemort, so that's why they did it. That's what I believe. Um, next one, number five, is Tonks. I just love Tonks, she's so cool. It's like Molly Weasley. She's such a savage, but she's just so cool. I love her hair. I really want hair like Tonks. Nick Fedora. Next one is obviously Dobby. Oh. Hands down, it's Dobby. Hands down. It's just because I think Dobby's just so innocent. Yes, he broke a Harry to promise. I broke a Harry to promise. Broke a promise to Harry. But he is like everyone dies for Harry. He knew that Dobby knew that Harry was the one to destroy Voldemort, and he needed to do that. 
and his but it's <laughs> quite freaky. His first words were Harry Potter and his last words were Harry Potter. So I think that's really sad. <laughs> um next up is Luna. Again, Luna's just so cool. If you see my impressions video, I did do an impression of not all of these characters actually. I don't think I did Tonks and I don't think I did Sirius. I didn't do Tonks and Sirius. But everyone else I did. Um so next up Oh wait, I'll but I'll give you a sneak peek of Luna. I hope there's pudding. <laughs> That's mine. Okay, next up, number two is Bellatrix. I love Bellatrix. She is so cool. What is that? Hold on. I think she's so cool and she just like knows what to do really. I know she was like the friend of Voldemort and yeah but <laughs> I just really like her. And then obviously my top, my first favourite is Draco Malfoy. I love Draco Malfoy. He's just so cool and he's very misunderstood and that's why really. <laughs> And it'll be, <clears throat> it'll be very sad. I would be very sad if Draco was still a really bad person. Because Draco actually sort of helped Harry a bit. Because ha at Malfoy Manor in, De in the Deathly Hallows Part 1, he knew it was Harry. Didn't tell anyone. I feel like he was being forced to do that. I don't think he... He wanted to, if you get what I mean, but I know that, I know that I don't think he meant to do what he did. He didn't kill Walt, he didn't kill Dumbledore, and I know, like, it's like everyone turned on you when you did something bad, and trust me, I know how that is. Okay, so that will be it for this video hope you enjoyed and i will be doing a lot more top tens i have a lot i made a list today so I can take this one off done it um so and i've got more videos lined up i've got some hair videos i've got some Q a q and a actually I'm going to try the Christmas to write the questions I might do that like later but I've got like a, a, like a little book now I've got all the stuff in one, two, three, four, five my mum my sixth page so yeah hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys next time